Today's video is going to be a full glam makeup transformation. It's been a minute we've done a full glam, but here we are. So I'm going to be creating this look. So if you're interested, keep on watching. So I'm going to start off with primer and I'm going to use the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Primer. I like this because it's hydrating and it's also a gripping primer. So it's going to help grip my makeup and make it last. And then next for foundation, I'm going to use the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation. So I like just to apply like one pump of this. And then if I need more coverage, I just add. So I'm just using this elf sponge to blend it out. I usually like making my sponge a little bit more on the wet side, especially if my skin is extra dry. And you can use a brush as well if you have like more so like oily skin. A brush would work better because I have dry skin. I like to use a sponge and I like to make the sponge damp. So just to get a little bit of water to help with the blending of the foundation. This is also a hydrating foundation and I usually like using hydrating foundation, especially Especially during the winter time so this one is a really good one it's also a full coverage one all right so now I'm gonna go in with concealer and I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown instant full cover concealer and this is in the shade golden and this is more so of a creamy concealer it's one of those like really thick concealers and I like this for full glam and full coverage makeup looks because they last pretty long and they give me more of like that really nice highlighted look I'm gonna apply some on the bridge of my nose and on my chin area it's actually been a while I've done a full coverage makeup look so i was kind of like in the mood to create something really full glam so i'm gonna blend this out with my beauty blender i just like to blend it out immediately because if you're using an instant full coverage concealer you definitely want to blend it out pretty quick before it dries down if it's more so like a liquidy concealer i would say like you can let it sit for a little bit so that it can get tacky but if it's like a thick creamy formula you definitely want to blend it out immediately because if you don't do that that's what causes is like the patchiness of the concealer and it doesn't look nicely blended and so i like to use the back of the sponge to get rid of all the harsh lines on the concealer all right, so now I'm gonna go in with contour. For contour, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Cream Bronzer in the shade Chestnut. So I really like this bronzer because it can be used as a contour and a bronzer at the same time. And so I like to use an angle brush like this to apply it. And I just press this on my cheekbone area. And I really specifically like this shade Chestnut because it's warm. It also is deep enough to show on my skin. So I'm going to use the back of this beauty blender to blend this bronzer out and with blending it out I like to just kind of like tap on it but I like to bring it upwards so that we kind of get that nice sharp look for the contour. You don't want to blend your contour downwards you always want to bring it up. I use beauty blenders for foundation sticks cream bronzers and things that are more so easier to blend i like to use a beauty blender if i'm using like a powder or i'm using something more thick i like to use a brush and then so i'm gonna go back in with the sponge that i use for the concealer and kind of clean up that contour so this is called reverse contour when you place the concealer underneath your contour to sharpen it up all right so now it's time to set all this oiliness all this you know dewiness so i'm gonna use the makeup forever ultra HD setting powder and the shade that I use for the setting powder is tan neutral and so using the same sponge that I used for my concealer I like to press that setting powder right underneath my eyes to make sure to really set that concealer and it does not crease and I also really like this setting powder because it's a matte formula so it really helps to control the oils on the skin and especially if you're doing like a full coverage makeup look it also gives a little bit of coverage onto the skin so I'm gonna place a little bit of that setting powder for reverse contour to sharpen up that contour a little bit more and I'm also gonna use this NYX can't stop won't stop pressed powder this is in the shade mocha and I like to use this powder to set my foundation especially if it's a hydrating foundation I like to set it with powder to make sure that it doesn't appear like really oily and you definitely want to set your skin when you see like your foundation kind of has that oily residue or if you have oily skin all right so next I'm gonna do my eyebrows and for eyebrows I'm gonna be using this Milani weekend brow so I've been really liking this this is in the shade espresso so I really like a natural eyebrow look so I like to use this because it gives me the look of realistic eyebrow hairs and so I slowly like to just sculpt and draw out my natural eyebrow hairs I 
All right, so before I get into the eyeshadow, I'm gonna prime my lids and I'm using the NARS Soft Matte Concealer in the shade Amande. I always like to prime my lids before applying eyeshadow because it gets rid of the discoloration so everything looks like one color and it just gets the pigmentation of the eyeshadow to show more. All right, so next I'm gonna get it into eyeshadow and I'm gonna use this Lust in Paradise eyeshadow palette. This is by C Color Cosmetics. So this is like my go-to palette because it has all the shades that I would usually go for and because it's a full glam makeup look, we're doing something neutral. I wanna use this palette because it's really rich and the pigmentation shows up really well on my skin. And on top of that, it's affordable like girl i cannot complain about this palette okay first i'm going to start off with two transition shades so i'm going to start off by packing this shade right here and then i'm going to transition into this shade so i'm starting by packing this eyeshadow on the crease area and just trying to build the pigment so i've been trying to get inspired in creating content and also things that i need to do in order for me to improve my content because there's always room for improvement in anything that you do and a way that i've been doing that is by using skin Skillshare. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this portion of today's video. For those of you guys who don't know anything about Skillshare, they are a learning community where they have thousands of online classes from photography to content creation. I know I got a lot of questions in my Q&A video about how I come up with ideas and honestly I've actually been taking a class called YouTube Success and it's taught by Marquise Brown Lee and it basically helps you to better your content on YouTube like come up with the ideas such as like the topic, the thumbnails and things like that. They also have lessons for growing your audience as well so I've been using that to really help better my content and it's also an ad free platform. And the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description box down below will get one month free trial of Skillshare. All right, so next I'm gonna use Paint Pop by MAC to cut my crease. This is in the shade Soft Okra, and I'm just gonna start by cutting my crease. I like to start from the inner portion, but slightly above my crease area. In small segments, just cut it slowly. And then I like to go in with that first color that I placed as a transition shade and just go over those two shades and the Paint Pop by MAC. And this is just gonna help hide that line of demarcation so you don't see it on there. And then next for the inner corner of my eye, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and I'm gonna mix it with this because this shade right here is too light. So I like to mix these two for the inner corner. And for the inner corner tear duct, I like placing it like right where the tear duct is and then just bringing it upwards towards where I'm gonna place that eyelid shade. And that just kind of helps it transition really nicely with the eyelid shade. And then using another clean flat brush, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. And I'm just gonna press that right on my eyelid. Now you can leave it with the eyeshadow primer. I usually don't like doing that because sometimes it creases on me. So I like making sure to set it with eyeshadow. And I I usually go for one that looks like very similar to the eyeshadow primer. All right, so next I'm gonna use mascara. So I'm gonna use the Waterproof Mascara by e.l.f. Cosmetics. And then for lashes, I'm gonna use the Lily Lashes in the style So Extra Minkonos. These are my favorite, favorite lashes. They're super full, um, super glam. So I like to use them when I'm doing a full coverage makeup look. All right, so next I'm going to add a little bit of setting powder underneath my eyes. So I'm using this Maybelline Fit Me setting powder. This is in the shade medium deep, and I like to do this just so that my under eyes look flawless and prevent the creasing under my eyes. All right, so for underneath my eyes, I'm going to use the two colors that I use for the transition shades, and I'm just gonna buff that right under my eyes. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and apply bronzer and I'm using the Revolution Splendor Glow Bronzer in the shade Dark. 
and i like to apply a very small amount because we went in with a cream bronzer so we won't need too much i just like to use this bronzer really to just hide all the lines of demarcation like on my forehead under my eyes where i place the concealer and this is also going to add some warmth back onto your skin and then for blush i'm going to go in with the nars blush this is in the shade aroused and I'm placing this starting on the apples of my cheeks and then bringing them upwards and of course building the pigment because with blush you place too much it's really hard to get it off on your skin and then lastly for highlighter I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown highlighter in the shade afternoon glow this has been my favorite highlighter for a while and then I'm gonna place a little bit on my forehead this highlighter is pigmented so you have to go really light-handed with it or else girl you're gonna be looking like a like a glow ball and then for lip liner i'm gonna use this la girl shockwave nude lip liner and then for my lips i'm gonna combine two different products so i'm starting off with the nyx professional soft matte lipstick this is in the shade abu dhabi i love this shade for deeper skin tones because it's just like that nude color that's not like too loud and it also really melts with the color of the skin and then i'm gonna go in with the nyx butter gloss this is in the shade praline this is also my favorite shade it's also an everyday shade for me if i don't have makeup on so i feel like it's perfect for deeper skin tones and since i didn't go into detail on the eyeshadow today don't forget to check out my next video over here where i talk about eye makeup brushes how to use them this video is very detailed and step by step on the eyeshadow application process KLJ, welcome to a channel where it's